I'm in the cusp, British Columbia. Technically, I'm here for the Horizons Unlimited meeting for motorcycle travelers. Elle and I are doing a presentation tomorrow and I should be preparing for that, but instead, I'm going for a ride. I'm gonna take this little ferry across the water. I think it's called the Aero Park Ferry. And I'm gonna see if I can find Saddle Mountain Fire Lookout. I've never been up there before. I say try to find because if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you'll probably remember that I got horribly lost on this uh, web of trails a few summers ago. And for that reason, before I go too far, I'm gonna stop and consult a few maps. Saddle Mountain Lookout Trail, 17 kilometers of that way. I just put new tires on this bike and it feels a little bit weird. So I'm gonna check the tire pressure, which I did yesterday. It was a little bit low, but not bad, like uh, right about where I want it. Um, feels a little spongy, better make sure. We're cool. This road is actually rougher than I recall. Oh, here we are. Uh, I don't want to jinx anything, but that's easier to spot than I thought it would be. Saddle Mountain Lookout Trail, eight kilometers. We're going for it. Here's where it could get a little bit rough. I've never been up here before. I don't know how it compares to say, Buchanan Lookout Trail, which I've done multiple times. That forestry service road that I was on is actually a fair bit rougher than I remember it. But I've got brand new tires, thanks to uh, Craig and my friend, my friends Craig and Brian and Trent and uh, I think Jordan maybe wrestled with it for a little bit too. I can't recall exactly, but yeah, we wrestled last weekend to put on these brand new tires that I've never tried before. Putting tires on by hand is always a bit of a uh, laborious task, even with the tips and tricks that the reply guys all uh, mention. But this one tire up front was particularly tough. Anyway, there's the sun. Not... It does seem a little bit strange, I know, to be going to a fire lookout when the sky is just choked with thick smoke. So there's smoke from forest fires in northern BC and Alberta. Um, it's really bad here, but it's even worse where uh, we were yesterday in Canmore, Alberta. So everything has kind of an ominous orange glow to it. And I'm gonna go to a fire lookout station if I can get there. Oop, some trees kind of down. In other words, I'm just doing this for the ride more than anything else. Because I don't expect the view will be spectacular because of all the smoke. I'm also kind of playing hooky from school. Uh, I'm at Horizons Unlimited right now in the cusp and I'm doing some presentations. I'm doing two presentations with Elle uh, about our trips to South America. We're doing a presentation on that except we only have 45 minutes of it prepared because that's usually the length that we do. Uh, and tomorrow's presentation is going to actually be, well, we can use two hours. We don't have to use the whole time. So we have to do a fair bit of tweaking of that presentation. And we also have to do a presentation about our trip to... Uh, okay, a little bit rough here. Come on, tractor. Come on, tractor. Yeah, there's the KLR. <laughs> I love and hate this bike. Anyway, I'm kind of playing hooky. Elle is too, sort of. She's participating in the program at Horizons Unlimited. She's being much uh, better about her use of time this weekend. One could argue she's doing a uh, off-road skill course right now. So if she's not building her presentation, and I'm not building the presentation, we're both just riding motorcycles. But, all of the... Eh, there is a little bit of a view. 
we want to do our best, and we will do our best. Uh, we're going to do some work on the presentations later today, and we have tomorrow as well to uh, prepare because, well, tomorrow morning. Huh. This road is ugh, beautiful. There's the tractor. I know what you all are thinking when you see me do a corner like that. You're thinking, Jeremy, you should be taking an off-road skills course, not L. Well, the truth is, uh, the truth is, I'm, uh, I'm just doing my best, you know? <laughs> Tractor mode, engage. <laughs> but this is a fun road. Saddle, mount, lookout, and I probably should go. Yeah, probably should go a little bit slower again because I by myself, like always. Elle was gonna come with me, but uh, she decided to take that skills course. Gig, 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 gig. Tractor boat. I've got all three cameras going now. I've got my. Hero 11 black on my helmet into a media mod and a lavalier mic. I've got my Osmo Act camera first generation one. And uh, way down by my foot there, I've got my uh, old GoPro. I don't even know what it is. I got it for free. I tend to get most of my GoPros for free after people are done with them and they want to upgrade. And. Also, for those of you who have been watching my channel, you know that I bought two brand new GoPro Hero 11s for my three-week trip with L to Ecuador. I bought them especially for that trip. I used them each for about, I don't know, five hours before the first one conked out completely, irreparably, and I had to contact GoPro Warranty. And then I used the other one a little bit longer, and then it also conked out. Uh, so I was not pleased with my purchases, and uh, I wish that I had watched Sterling Norin's video first. Bef like he, he talks about why he's done with GoPro. Oh, that's beautiful. I wish I had seen that video before I made my purchases, but I did, and they both crapped out. And Sterling was right. Sterling Norin, shout out, another YouTuber. However, I will say this, uh, the GoPro warranty team has been nothing but amazing. I tell them the problem, they respond quickly, and uh, so now I have two brand new GoPro Hero 11s to replace the other ones that crapped out on me. Uh, you know, I can't say that my confidence in them is high. You know, I don't want to jinx anything by... Uh, talking too much, but I think I am taking a few too many liberties with this road. I ought to be more conservative, given my isolated position. No cell coverage up here. Well, now I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just take the main road. Oh, look. There's a trailhead. I wonder if I could go up there with my KLR. I don't know. Saddle Mountain Lookout Trail. I'm going to go look at that map that's lying down on the ground. Well, I was wondering if I could ride up there with my motorcycle. I uh, probably could, except it says no. So this is my high point. Uh, there's another reason why I'm turning back. Uh, and Well, actually, there's three reasons. One, I don't want to uh, break any rules uh, or laws, and I don't know why those laws are in place, but I'll just trust that they have a good reason. Two, uh, it's now noon, and I'm supposed to be back at the cusp to help L work on that presentation. Um, and three, I just noticed that I dropped my tripod off the back of my motorcycle up that bouncy road. So I'm now gonna backtrack, try to find that tripod on the road, pick it up, um, strap it down a little bit better, and then I'm gonna carry on. Uh, another reason that I'm not gonna ride any farther is I need to repair this. So uh, my chain guide on my KLR650, um, it broke apart. When I was going over Gray Pass, it broke apart. So I fixed it at Toad Rock with a little piece of leather belt. That's what's uh, stopping the chain from grinding into the swing arm, which it has already started to do. I'm holding that leather belt on with uh, zap straps, but they are all breaking now. 
So fortunately, I'm a KLR guy. I've got lots of zap straps. Oh, by the way, I was totally, totally wrong. That road that I thought was the Saddle Mountain Lookout Trail is definitely not. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought that big road back there was the Saddle Mountain Lookout Trail. And I couldn't understand why you can't go up there with a motorcycle. But now I see that this is the trailhead. That is the trail. I can't go up there with my KLR and I'm still not walking. Besides, with that repair that I had to do with all those zap straps, uh, and I've got to go back down the road to find my tripod, and I think it's time to call her a day. So, leaving the trailhead, I rode all the way down the road, the same road that I came up on, and I could not find my tripod. So I actually went all the way back to the ferry, um, didn't find it. Turned around, and then I decided I'm going to go all the way back to the trailhead. So I rode that road two times. Still didn't find the tripod. So I turned around at the trailhead, and I rode down. I didn't film any of that because I was kind of uh, disheartened exasperated looking for this Stressed tripod. Stuff? Yeah, a little bit. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. But I did gain a little bit of wisdom. Yes, I may have lost my tripod, but what I discovered was the real tripod is the friends that you make along the way. No, and then at the ferry I turned around the third time and I found it. You found it? Yeah. Okay, okay, there we go.